Hello everyone, so today I'm doing the lipstick tag and I was tagged with two lovely ladies, Lauren from Redhead PhD and Emily from The Sets Beauty and I love watching both of those girls, you guys know I've talked about Emily before but I've never really officially talked about Lauren on my channel and I have watched her from really the very beginning and I love her because she's so thorough with her descriptions, she has a great way with words, an amazing vocabulary, jealous! And she has an amazing personality as well because she has this sort of sarcastic personality that I just cannot get enough of. And she can basically describe anything from scents to colors to textures. Amazing. Go check her out. So I will have a link to both of those lovely ladies down below. So now on to the questions. Okay, so first question. How many lipsticks do you own? Now, I counted 77, which is kind of funny because Lauren counted 78, but that isn't including what's in my purse. So we shall see. So what was your first ever lipstick? My first ever lipstick was from L'Oreal. It was one of their L'Oreal Color Reach lipsticks and it was in the shade Saucy Mauve and I remember it because I wore that lipstick from middle school all the way through high school which is kind of insane and uh, yeah I wore that thing hardcore. What is your most worn lipstick? My most worn lipstick is from Rouge Money Rouge and it is in the shade Fluttering Size. And this thing has seen better days. It is completely destroyed. I'll put it on my lips right now. So this is my most worn lipstick. And this is a Succulents of Dew lipstick from Rouge Money Rouge. In Fluttering Size. And it's basically a lipstick slash lip gloss hybrid. A really nice peachy pink. What is your favorite brand for lipstick? That was kind of tough. It was between the Too Faced the Creme lipsticks and my Rouge Bunny Rouge lipsticks. But I had to go with my Rouge Bunny Rouge lipsticks because they just simply make me so happy. I love the packaging of the lipsticks. They're so lush and I love both finishes of the Rouge Bunny Rouge lipsticks. There's a color burst finish which is more of a cream sheen sort of finish and then there is the Succulents of Dew lipsticks, which are more of that lipstick slash lip gloss hybrid. So let me swatch a color burst lipstick. This one is in Whim of Mine. So this one is sort of like your cream sheen finish. Very opaque and creamy. And then let me swatch one of the Succulents of Dew lipsticks. If I can find one. Dissolved in Dreams. This is a Succulents of Dew lipstick. So this one is more of a glossy finish. So love these both. And all of the Rouge Money Rouge lipsticks have this sort of really nice clove scent to them, which is kind of strange, but it works. So, love me some Rouge Bunny Rouge. What is your favorite finish? My favorite finish is definitely Lusters because you can just pop them in your purse, and when you want some added color, just apply them, no mirror necessary. And they're just very comfortable on your lips. They're semi-opaque, so they're not too opaque, and they add a really nice shine. So, my favorite Lusters are the Tarte Lip Surgeons. They look like so. So they're very shiny. They're not overly saturated with color. So very nice. I also like the Jordana Easy Shines, which, I mean, you can consider them a lipstick or not. I consider them a lipstick because they do have some color to them. And then, of course, my Rouge My Rouge Succulents of Dew Lipsticks. Those are really nice and glossy as well. What is the last lip product you bought? I actually just recently made a order with Sephora and I picked up some of the Hourglass Femme Nude Lip Stylos in number three and in number five. They haven't yet arrived yet so I can't actually share them with you guys. But the last lip product that I have here with me 
is from OCC. It's one of their lip tars in the shade Vintage. It's basically a red and brown and it's a beautiful, beautiful color for the fall and it's also great if you want to do a really nice pinup look. How many lip products, including balms and glosses, do you currently have in your handbag? So here's my handbag. It's basically my diaper bag as well. So here we go. Okay. I have quite a few. Okay, so let's begin. So the first one is the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Glitzy. It's basically a pinky nude. And again, this is a luster finish. Then we have the Jordana Twist and Shine in Cranberry Crush. Really pretty cranberry shade. 100% Pure, the shade Taffy, which is basically my lips but better color. Then we have the Stila Longwear Lip Color in Paramore. The rest are lip glosses, so this is the Stila Lip Glaze in Loganberry. Ooh, that's a beauty. I love that lip gloss. NYX's Sweetheart. This is one of their Mega Shine lip glosses. You can barely see that. It's basically the color of my skin tone. A Butter Gloss from NYX. This is in the shade Strawberry Parfait. From Soap and Glory, this is a Great Kisser Lip Moisture Balm in the shade Juicy Peach. Love this as well. This probably doesn't have really any color to it, but I'll swatch it anyways. There it is there. It's like a milky pinky peach. This is from Sleek and this is one of their pout polishes in the shade Pride. I love this as well. This is one of my favorites. And here it is. So that is everything in my purse. Okay, I lied. That's not everything in my purse. I have this lip balm from Anthony. This is one of my favorite lip balms. And this is the Advanced Formula Lip Balm with SPF 25 with resveratrol, mint, and white tea. It's basically clear. And this is a men's lip balm, but I love this thing to pieces. What lip product do you use to rock a red lip? Now, I have many red lipsticks, but my favorite one has to be from Echo Bella. And this is in the shade Revelation. And it looks like so. I'll apply it on my lips so you can see it better. And for a lip liner, I always use this one. This is from Prestige. This one is in the shade True Red. It basically goes with all my red lipsticks. And then to line the outside of my lips, I use this. This is actually for brows, but this is the Wet n Wild Arch Envy. And it comes with this sort of wax tip. And I just apply it on the outside of my lips. So I will show you what that looks like. So here's Echo Bella's Revelation. It's actually not as dark as it appears in the tube, which I actually really like. And it's very moisturizing as well. How do you store your lipsticks? So you probably have seen how I store my lipsticks in the background. So here they are. So I picked up this little lipstick rack at Bed Bath & Beyond. And it was less than 10 bucks, Best 10 bucks I've ever spent. And you can hold a lot of lipsticks. And I just, I really like the shape of it. It has a sort of curved shape to it. And it's really nice. I have two of these actually. And lastly, what lip products are you currently lusting after? So I can't wait to get my hands on the Hourglass Femme New Lip Stylos that I just picked up at Sephora. Let's see what else. I really want to try the Stila Vital Lip Glosses. They're basically long-lasting lip glosses. Uh, I want to pick up a OCC Lip Tart in Melange. It's basically a terracotta shade. And I want to try a Chantecaille lipstick. Not sure which one yet, but that's definitely on my list as well. Oh, and in case you were wondering what's on my lips, since this is the lipstick tag, 
I am wearing the Latte Lip Tint from Lush. It looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. I will swatch it for you guys. So there it is. Gorgeous. It's basically a rose gold with a hint of brown. Really, really pretty. So that's basically it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoy this tag, and I will tag a few peeps down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.